Pregnancy, it is supposed to be such a beautiful time in our lives. Many women experience morning sickness, but there are others who go through something way more severe, way more debilitating. It's called hyperemesis gravidarum, or HG. In fact, I was diagnosed with it in my first trimester. I had it with my first child as well. But this time, I felt more compelled to learn more about the condition and the stigma many women face alone. Take a look. Pregnancy sometimes appears picture perfect, but the reality for some women, including myself, looks something like this. This is too much. White flag. Chris had to take me to the ER. In a recent documentary on HBO Max, comedian Amy Schumer opens up about her experience with hyperemesis gravidarium. Acute morning sickness, which in her case seems to be all day sickness. Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, struggled with it in all three of her pregnancies. It's like calling a hurricane a little bit of rain. It's not the same thing. Dominique Albrecht knows all too well. The San Diego mother of two beautiful children endured it during both pregnancies. I think there is a misconception that hyperemesis is morning sickness, um, but it's not. It's severe, debilitating nausea and vomiting that has a significant impact on a woman's life. And it's the reason Albrecht contacted me after I mentioned my diagnosis on the morning show. You know you've known about this for a couple of yep. months now because of just how how sick this baby has been <laughs> yes. making me, hence while I'm yeah. working from home. I wanted to reach out to you and let you know there's resources available that you are not alone. It sometimes can be a very isolating condition. Dominique had never heard of hyperemesis until she found herself in the emergency room during her first pregnancy. She passed out from severe dehydration. Strong medication and IV fluids kept her alive. I couldn't work anymore. I basically laid in a dark room for most of the day. Dominique's story is not unique to the women who experience the condition. According to the HER Foundation, the global voice for HG awareness, support and research, HG is potentially life-threatening, affecting 3 to 10 percent of women or more than 6 million globally. It's characterized by severe nausea, vomiting, weight loss, dehydration, sometimes organ failure and even in severe cases death of mothers and babies, not to mention the financial strain. People lose their homes, they go bankrupt, they, it's a significant impact. And there are times where, and I think, you know, the Amy Schumer documentary did a good job of showing this, that you sometimes, even on your worst day, you have to get up and keep going. It's a very scary time for women on top of feeling terribly, terribly ill. Dr. Marlena Faso is a Harvard-trained geneticist at the University of Southern California. An HG survivor herself, for the past 20 years, she's been the world's leading researcher on HG. The cause is still unknown, but a recent genetic study links two genes to HG. Can women actually now, because with your research, go and get tested for this gene? It's a very good question. We're not quite there yet. Um, in order to do that, you have to get FDA approval for a test, and so we're, it's it's not quite there yet, but we're, we're getting there. Dr. Faso says what can be done now, improvement in standardized treatments and assessments. Dominique knows firsthand. For example, thiamine is a basic vitamin that women with hyperemesis need to get to prevent um, neurological impacts and they don't often get that. I think a lot of women, like you said, they get missed because they, they haven't seen their doctor yet. They think it's normal. Children are at risk. So the baby is not, in the case of hyperemesis, always getting everything it needs from the mom. There's increased risk of autism. There's increased risk of neurodevelopmental delay. And Dr. Faiso hopes that one day there will be a drug safe and effective enough to help women get through it. Right now, there is medicine available, but it doesn't always help with the nausea and vomiting. There's also an HG Care iPhone app for expecting moms. It tracks symptoms and sends out an alert if it's time to have a serious conversation with your doctor. So, Eric, the first time around, mm -hmm. uh, my doctor put me on Zofran. Zofran is a strong drug that they give to cancer patients. Right. This time around, my doctor was like, I don't suggest it because it's not safe. So, mm. And then there was another pill. It did nothing for me. So also another note to too that some women don't go on to have more kids if their first experience was oh, so bad. bad. Yeah. yeah. Hence why I kind of waited four years. Sure. Because sure. you know, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this again. Boy, when you start see seeing the, the effects there, organ failure and even death, this is something that needs to be talked about more. So I'm Absolutely. so glad you're bringing this to light here. And we should note feeling a lot better now, right? Yes, a lot a better. Better, feel better. For some women, it, this, go, this goes on all nine months.
months, and I do yeah. want to let women know that you are not alone. Please head to the Her Foundation. They have so much experience there and so many resources for you ladies out there. You're a champ. Hang in <laughs> there, Stella. <laughs>